This is the life we chose, the life we lead. And there is only one guarantee. None of us will see heaven. Hello there. Sir from 17 once again, bringing you a lovely failed spawn grenade right there on Call of Duty 4. And this is a pretty quick team deathmatch on back lot, I think it is, and I'm using the AK-47. We got a lovely kill on that guy with some hip fire, and there's this dude crouching here. What are you doing, pal? But unfortunately, my connection on this game is not great, so somebody steals that from me, and I only get two points, which looks really pathetic compared to the 20 and the 30 of the other games, but when you calculate it, it's just exactly the same. They've just added a zero to make us feel a little bit better about ourselves. So right now I'm going to die by a claymore because I forgot you could get two. So there's that one. I think I'm safe. There's that one. It gets me killed. Yeah, what can you do? Did you notice how that guy was using double tap? Watch this. How the hell does this grenade not hit? What's going off there? But um, that is one of the interesting things about Call of Duty. If you get used to the grenades on one game, when you come back to the other ones, they're generally completely different. And this is another one that I thought I could have almost not missed. It's like, how do you miss that grenade? And somehow the guy up there survives. Maybe he'd been killed, maybe he left the game. I couldn't honestly tell you. But anyhow, back to gun on gun action. That guy shoots at me because he's a retard and I'm on his team and he clearly hasn't realised. Watch this. What is that guy made out of? Fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger's see, man. It's like, come on, man, die. Then there's another guy down there who's just spawned and not a single hit marker. And that's one of my massive pet peeves with this AK-47 because sometimes the gun just doesn't work. And this is a good example of it. Do you see a hit marker? I start shooting the car because I can't hit the dude. And he's here. <laughs> and look, I still don't get the kill. What's going off here? But I end up picking up his M9 by accident, but I killed this guy around the corner, luckily enough. And he has an M16, which kind of saves my ass. So I've got the UAV in. We know that they're on the opposite side of the building site. They're all near this semi-built house. And I see a guy just to my left. He's just there. You see him? There we go. Clean him up, come back into this area because they were all spawning behind me on those cargo crates a moment ago, but they flipped across here. And um, I get to go to town on these guys, so that's a nice five kill streak. There's my sixth kill streak. There's the airstrike. I run back inside to call it so that I don't end up killing myself because there's nothing more frustrating than dying in your own airstrike. And anybody that's played Call of Duty 4 knows that these airstrikes can be kind of random. But there's absolutely no sign of anybody. I get another kill there. That's my helicopter. I pick up this guy's sniper rifle by accident because. Anybody knows I don't like snipers, I don't see the point in them whatsoever when you can run around with your gun and have a lot more fun. Unless you're like Grizz or somebody who's actually really good at it, but back anyhow to bit of M16 iron sight gameplay. My chopper's gonna work, which is always a nice refreshing change. And look at all these M16s, man, I can't find a different gun. And lo and behold, there's a guy running around with some big ammo. So I pick up the M60 with a lovely red dot on it, I'm on a 10 kill streak. And I never, ever used to use the light machine guns on this game, because I used to hate them. I used to think they were ridiculous. I thought they were for skillless people that couldn't aim. And that's kind of true for a lot of it, but it's actually a really valid weapon, especially with its clip size. And right there, the one guy hiding away from my helicopter manages to come up and kill me just in time to ruin my streak. What a bitch. But I used my three grenades to random effect by throwing them all towards where they were spawning. I don't get anything with those. I think I get one with that. No, I don't. Tell a lie. This guy beats me. How does that happen? Aside from my shitty internet connection getting absolutely cock slapped by his internet connection. Why do not he move? That wouldn't have happened if he'd have moved, son. Simple logic, really. And that <laughs> hey, two in a row. Can we get three? Ooh, we can't get three. But that is the reason right there why I enjoy triple frags. Because if you get good at being able to throw those cut grenades across the map, and a lot of people say there's no skill to it, but I believe there is. And I would rather die by a cooked grenade than by a noob tube, which is absolutely skillless. And watch this. How do I not get like a quad feed here? There's like three people stood there, and that guy shotguns me. Son of a bitch. And here's an interesting one. That guy that just shotgunned me then, uh, he is... A kid. He's a child, basically. He's probably about fucking ten, but he sounds about five. And he's playing this game with his mic on, talking through the entire thing, and it sounds like a scene from Look Who's Fucking Talking, because all it is is like a baby monitor of him going like... <laughs> and the kid's like fucking five. It's like, what irresponsible p parents are buying games that are clearly, you know, 18 games, and letting them play online, where any measure of paedophiles and, you know, fucking weirdos can talk to them. It's like, come on, parents. 
think about what you're doing. Just think about what you're doing. And think about all the other people that have to listen to your fucking annoying kid. That's the most important fact. But, going a little two-piece there, killing a few people. Guy on our team's on a tear right now with his chopper up in the sky. I can't seem to find anybody. And this is another exchange where I'm shooting my AK and I'm getting thin air. But um, they're all spawning on this side. They're all hiding. Watch this. Ha, what? Explain that. Go on, chalkboard, piece of chalk. Do it in stages because I'm kind of slow. I just don't get it. Don't get it at all. And right now I'm pushing into the spawn because our team just don't know what they're doing. I get a lovely kill on that guy. There's another M16 there. I run away from the grenade because Martinum's a bitch. And um, I'm looking for a weapon right now. And I've got my lovely Desert Eagle. And there's two guys looking at me. One guy there. I managed to clean up. And his buddy's just there as well. And I, I come out, but he's gone. He's gone. What a shame. Could have had a lovely little Desert Eagle montage there. If I was actually good with the gun and not a giant retard with it. But I'm one kill away from my chopper. So I'm a little bit tentative. Because I want my chopper. I try and wall bang. See if I can get a hit marker. There's this guy here. Clean him up with the M16 just as I get sniped, just in time for my chopper. I call my chopper in, but there's only 10 seconds left of the game, so unfortunately, the score could have been so much better, but I actually had a decent team this time for a change. So, you know, goes to show even I can get surprised in this day and age, but thanks for watching, guys, and you take care now.